Whoa, hey there. <laughs> Welcome to our video on creating a new word called Think Drive. All right, so Think Drive is when a group of humans or organisms, they simultaneously think of, an, of a desired idea, action, or outcome. So it's similar to like a deep brainstorm. Um, whereby electromagnetic waves, both alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and theta, can radiate at a similar um, frequency in similar locations, converging on neural coherence and scalar waves. Uh, and, and so here, um, it'd be really interesting to see a series, how a series of experiments could test measurable effects on human thought to remotely cause a noticeable effect when biological or abiotic end. And so this converges on these synonyms of kind of group consciousness and, and quantum entanglement and neural coherence. Okay, so this sounds like what Albert Einstein would call spooky actions at a distance, referring to quantum mechanics and, and to really understand what's going on, we can come back to electromagnetic fields, and particularly how they overlap and combine to form new waves. And, um, and so here are two electromagnetic fields generated from you know, the entire human body, both the heart, the mind, and, and really where current and electrons are flowing and molecules and and so these fields and these field vectors, they, they, they overlap and combine. Okay, so, so the question becomes constructive or destructive interference, right? Or coherence, whereby there are non-coherent signals and coherent signals. And it's really whether it's, it's a gradient in function of um, how waves and their wavelength and amplitude um, overlap together, right? And we can use these applied math and models, uh, such as Schrodinger's equation, uh, to describe how these um, waves are overlapping and combining to form a new wave vector of, of greater uh, amplitude and, and total energy. Um, that we've outlined some more of the math here on this slide. Uh, to, to review, right? So we have Y1 and Y2, two waves overlapping. They, they combine here and they form a, a new amplitude of, of you know, two extra more magnitude. Uh, and, and so we're talking about how these waves shift and combine and carry information. Um, and Okay, how to actively test long distance quantum entangled thoughts. For the sake of time, uh, these researchers found that uh, the research suggested entanglement in the brain based on NMRI signals and aligned proton spins. So the key question becomes, you know, what near simultaneous thoughts and think drive experiments would you like to test?